All righty, guys. This one barely even fits in the field of view of my camera where I have it placed. Which reminds me, I still need to do a new studio tour, office tour slash studio tour uh, here at my new house and my new studio. I, I, I got to do that. It's been on my list. It will happen. But anyway, no unboxing, just straight to a discussion and uh, kind of specs on this Big Knives Bolo Sawback because I am just so excited about this and I am not even a fixed blade guy, as you know, but <laughs> this is just so freaking cool. I had to do it. Like I just got this today from Mark Big directly, okay? Uh, filming this on Thursday um, at the end of March. I don't even remember the date, 27th, 28th, whatever it is. I had lunch with Mark and Mattia, uh, Mattea today, and they gave me a box of goodies. And the box of goodies is so kind of big and expansive. It's not really conducive to doing an unboxing. So you're just going to get to see some stuff brand new, right straight to the review. I don't need to do a filler unboxing video, right? So super cool. Had lunch with them uh, at my uh, at the restaurant that my son works at. My son is a chef um, in Yontville. So we went and had lunch up there, had a great time, got to see my son. He came out and hung out with us for a few minutes. And he knows both of those guys as well because he uses one of their uh, Bowie chef knives. So I've done videos on that before too. But anyway, I digress. Let's talk about today. Um, the other thing, I was able to get this Quaken from Big Knives straight out of Mark Big's pocket. This is what he was carrying today. And over the course of talking and chatting and just hamming it up over lunch, he says, here, I want you to have this. This is on top of the box of stuff in the other room that I will be filming and whatnot. I'll do a video on this too, but yeah, this is really special because it was his personal carry knife. On to this big, bad, crazy boy. Uh, it is the Bolo Sawback, as I mentioned. Overall is like 13 and a quarter, just a hair under 13 and a quarter. They call it an eight inch blade on the website. I like to measure from the very front edge of the scale to the tip, and I measure seven and three quarters from here. If I measure from the kind of the belly here to the tip, I get just a hair over eight inches. So let's just call it about eight inches um, with about a seven and a quarter inch uh, edge. Now, this is not going to be for slicing. This is not going to be your slicer and dicer because the thickness behind the edge is 0 0.05. 0 0.059 back here, 0 0.055 up in here. Okay. Love this recurve. The saw back is actually all, every tine on here is sharpened. How'd you call it? A tine? tooth. Everyone is sharp. This will absolutely cut um, and saw some wood. And I will probably have to do a demonstration video on this because all I want to do right now is go outside and freaking hack down a tree. But all the trees in my yard, I'm keeping. So I don't want to do that. But yeah, I want to like go hack on something. I think I have an old four by four. Um, post in the garage, maybe some scrap two by fours. I got to do something because this thing needs a little bit of abuse. All right. Um, weighs in at 15.4 ounces with the injection molded sheath and nylon here. It's a uh, one pound, three ounces. The handle is a good size at 0.956, almost an inch across here. So it feels really good in the hand. It does have a finger choil. I'm not sure you would choke up on this to do detail work, but you, you could. I don't know, guys. Um, the blade steel, OS 10. Okay. This is absolutely from their affordable line. This is their production. Overseas, made in China production series. 
Same with this Quaken, okay? This Quaken is about $120-ish, I think, give or take. And this guy's about $180, give or take, okay? So this, all of these knives that I have coming up, when you see these new big knives that I'm going to talk about, a lot of them have OS 10 or D2. And yeah, they are all coming from their production factory over in China somewhere, which I have no problem with. You might, I don't. My channel, I can do what I want. Okay? Um, but OS 10 a isn't really terrible. Easy to sharpen. Easy to kind of use and abuse. Is it the most rigid? Is it, it's, it's not Magna Cut. It's not S90. It's not S35. But for this, for chopping and grinding on trees and stuff, It'll work. All right, so let me give you a, the kind of a <laughs> size comparison with Jim Skelton's mini Hellraiser fixed blade that I happen to have. Um, here it is with the Sharpie, the D-cell battery, and the AA battery. Again, just for some size context, this thing is a big bad boy. RJ Martin Q36SS. I love a good recurve. Absolutely, absolutely love it. For those of you into the mini glimpse, how about a mini glimpse from Big Knives? Video coming on that soon too. I'm gonna put a link up in the corner to my Big Knives playlist. It's got some production stuff already and it has the customs that I own and the customs that other people have let me handle. So you can find that up in the corner. Let me know, guys. I know this is my 12-year-old self coming out in this video. I don't know that I've been excited about doing a fixed blade video in quite a while, but this is just so freaking cool.